say hi to Ethel. That's my tortoise. He's just waking up in the morning. Anyway, I thought you'd like to see our tortoise here. It's another beautiful day here in Phoenix. And um, thought we'd get to work on this drum a little more. I think we can finish her up this morning. And uh, come in here in the nice cool garage, got the EVAP going, and we'll get working on this. Okay, we'll get these, uh, these lugs all cleaned up. I just sprang with my handy solution, which is 50-50 water uh, ammonia solution. Works great. That's mainly the active ingredient on most cleaners. For cleaning so I clean that up there I got my four out steel wool and I just take it and clean all the little areas another good way to clean these lugs is you take this uh, small brush maybe even a toothbrush and clean all these uh, areas that are too hard to get to with a rag and um, Give those a little scrubby dub, and I think it'll turn out a little better. Anyway, from this is what you start out with, and this is what you end up with. So that ammonia really cuts all that grease and palm grease out of there. So that's what I do. Hey guys, when we're putting these plates on the back uh, underneath these lug screws, I put a punch through the hole to line up these two screws that hold the strainer assembly there. So that just lines up these holes here and um, makes it easier for when you screw in the uh, lug screws. Okay, look at We've got all the lugs on. Uh, it's looking really nice so now we're going to start assembling the throw off on there and get that all assembled there now we're going to disassemble these uh, jaw assemblies I call them um, this this little pin here uh, this little pin here uh, it's hard to do this with one hand one okay uh, this little pin here right there if you just pop that out it, it's not uh, mushroomed or anything you can just pop that pin right out of there with a center punch and this thing will be free so you can clean all that and I'll show you. So there you go. You got that, that little pin comes out of there. There's the pin. Comes out of there. And now we're able to clean up all these parts separately. This whole jaw assembly opens up. It's really important you find out if this thing is straight. Uh, this one is not bent. You know, these things get dropped. And... I'm going to check this one. It might be a little bit bent, so we're going to need to bend it back. See how it's dropped to the right a little bit? It's got to be right on the money. Okay, so you know, I don't recommend you guys uh, just finding any old brass wheel to put on your buffer here. But these are special wheels. I think I've gone over these in other videos. And... Uh, they're on wood collet plates and these things are expensive but they won't hurt the chrome at all and it enables you to clean all these threads real good and any uh, areas it won't hurt the chrome at all and I can get right in there and clean all the fine little areas so let me do that off camera Probably one of the most important things on one of these super throw-offs 
is having these threads on this adjusting for these jaws to go in and out here in the, on this adjusting screw to work I just ran these this tap through this adjusting knob here and it was dirty and I oiled it and watch it spin now look at that look at that it spins on its own that's what you want this thing can't be binding up so that's a very important feature also get your little oil oil up these jaws here all these little areas this thing's got to work really smooth in order for these snares to adjust correctly okay so we're now we're going to put this pin back in this uh, part here just take your needle nose and put it in there and make it so hard to do this stuff on camera but um, you get the idea you just pop it in there anyway <laughs> okay we got that in there <laughs> oh boy that was an ordeal okay now um you know i also oil in here too just a, one little dab you know anything to make this these jaws work a little bit easier i know it's a lot of oil but i don't care I want these things to work properly and then I'll just wipe it off clean it up a little bit and then uh, we're good okay we've got it all assembled now and look at that it moves real gently that way you can bring the snares in and out you don't want any binding getting a little bit of binding there Let's see here Sometimes these, uh, this part here isn't lined up with the groove in this adjusting knob. So let me uh, mess around with it. Nope, my bad. Uh, the, uh, it's only going to adjust up to right here. See, it's... Oh, by the way, when you're uh, tapping these... Uh, these... Uh, adjusting knob things this is an 832 tap okay 832 okay we've got all the throw off back on um, both sides and um, she's working as you can see nice and smooth now we're going to put the bottom head on and the hoop and I'm going to clean all the rods all the threads on the rods right so we've got all the head on there and cleaned all the rods on the uh, tension rods now I've got these snare wires these are the original snare wires that came with this drum you can see that uh, stamp on there is just like the ends of the uh, levers on the uh, throw off pretty nice I cleaned them I, I'm not going to do anything with the uh, snare wires themselves but I am going to individually oil each one of these screws because I will have to tension them differently to get them in tune so let me put these on we'll be right back okay we've got the wires on there and I'm just gonna strum them you can see this one here is loose see it look at this is tight this one's a little bit looser you can see which ones need to be tensioned I don't have these adjusting knobs real tight so we need to find this wire here in the middle and adjust it Here's something interesting you uh, may want to know. Here's one of the screws that come out of this uh, part here. And the snare wire was 
completely out of its little socket thing. So I just pull it straight out of here and I'm going to want to put that back in there and then crimp it a little bit just on this this outer part here not here because it's got a spin on the screw part I'll crimp that on there and let's see how that works okay I got that back in there and now I'm just strumming these things and looking at it see all these last ones here are loose so you've got these adjusters and you just have to see this is number one here this is number two this is number three number four number five number six number seven number eight number nine number ten so you just have to count and watch them and kind of tune them this way these first six are pretty good shape so I'm going to count them then I'm going to go to number seven. Let's see here. So this is kind of a big procedure, but uh, that's why a lot of people don't like to mess with these things. I love it. It's uh, it's interesting to me, and um, I, I I like the challenge. So look at when I've strummed them. There's one there that's a little bit loose. It's about the uh, fourth one, I believe. So I'll just bring that out a little bit. We should have it. Okay, we've got some more fiddling to do here. When you move your handle here, you can have your snares lie just touching the head or you can have them snugged up a little bit. How you do that is this screw right here. Now you can put this thing where you want it. So you can have it all the way up or you can have it just touching it, which I kind of want to do. So I'll tighten that there. And then you want to do the other side too. Same thing. Depends on where you want to have these things lie. I like them. I like the snare wires just touching the head. Now listen to that sound. Perfect. Okay, we're in the final stage here. Now, remember back when we started this thing, when I was talking about this tone control knob, uh, where they they kind of damaged the threads here, kind of crimped them or whatever you want to say, right in the middle so this wouldn't back off when you were playing the drum. So, look, I'm going to get rid of that. I don't really think it's going to back out. It was just a precautionary thing. So I'm going to go ahead and chase it. And I'm going to put it in this die here, clean up all my threads, and make them perfect again. Okay? That die is a 1032. That's the size of this uh, muffler tension knob. And there she is, guys. Uh, another superb piece of... Uh, craftsmanship from the Ludwig Drum Company 1962 or 3 fantastic drum it was my honor to show you the craftsmanship of this great company I love Ludwig drums I love Leedy drums I love Camco drums I love Gretsch drums I love Slingerland drums I love Heyman drums Carlton drums the list goes on and uh, this is uh, just a great drum and I'm just really happy to own it and um, 
Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, we've got a few more coming up uh, that should be pretty interesting. I've got some Radio Kings to finish up here and um, I've got a nice Camgo 3D Moire to finish up. Um, these uh, Radio King drums have need, are, need some extensive work. So those could be a few videos, but I know this is getting a little long, but hopefully you got something out of this. And if you got some friends out there that enjoy this kind of content, let them know. And um, till the next time, we'll see you later. All right.